Mr. Harris here, welcome to a new video of chapter 6. In this video, we're going to talk about the particle model. So first off, we already learned in the first term that there are three states of matter, namely solid, liquid, and gas. So let's talk about their properties. So for a solid, we know that a solid has a fixed shape and also a fixed volume. However, for a liquid, liquids only have a fixed volume but not a fixed shape so in other words say for example if i have a beaker of water of around 20 ml or cm cube and if i place it for example originally i have a if i i have a beaker now this does not look like a beaker Let's say I have a beaker and if I want to put it into a conical flask, so 20 ml would also be the same if I place it into another conical flask, it's going to be the same. However, as we know, liquids, they don't really have a fixed shape, unlike solids. For gases, they do not have a fixed volume and they also do not have a fixed shape so they'll just take up the volumes and shapes of a closed container so to summarize very easy so for solids they have a fixed shape and a fixed volume over here for liquids they have a fixed volume but not a fixed shape and finally for gases they have neither a fixed volume nor a fixed shape now let us explain the difference in the properties of the solids liquid and gas so uh, I'll need you to pay attention to how the particles over here are arranged so first off for a solid of course they are solid particles they are actually very closely packed as you can see they're right next to each other and they're arranged in a regular pattern what do I mean by regular pattern is you see a regular shape. So it's not all over the place. You see it's very organized. So I can say it, it is organized. Okay. Now if you pay attention to the spaces between the particles, they're actually kind of small. So there are spaces, but they are rather small. Okay. Also, each particle, they vibrate about a fixed position. As I told you, of course, they have, because they're closely packed. And okay, that looks like a D. They are closely packed. And also, they have a regular pattern. They're arranged in a regular pattern. And that is why the particles will, would, would vibrate in a fixed position. And that is why they have they would have fixed shapes and volumes for example like a brick or some nails or a piece of wood they're all solids they're fixed in shapes and volumes on the other hand let's look at a liquid so this is you may have a look that this is a liquid particle yes they are closely packed but as you will see they're not really organized they're not arranged regularly Okay, that is one difference that we can see between a solid and a liquid. Okay, and also the spaces between particles, they are also small. However, the particles, they could move around rather easily. So this causes liquids to have a fixed volume, but they do not have a fixed shape. Okay. And on the other hand, for a gas particle, as we can see in the particle model for a gas, the spaces between particles are rather large. And the particles, they're able to move freely in any directions, in all directions. And that is why they don't have a fixed shape, nor do they have a fixed volume. So let's summarize this part. So based on the particle model, so the particle model, as I mentioned earlier, is these drawings over here. This is a particle model for a liquid, and this is for a solid. 
Okay, so let me summarize it. Solids have a fixed shape because their particles are in fixed in a fixed position, or let me just say in fixed position. Oh, in fixed position. and they cannot move around the particles they're in a fixed position and they can't really move around while on the other hand for liquids and gases they do not have a fixed shape because their particles they actually can move around okay on the other hand solids and liquids they have a fixed volume because their particles are closely packed. While on the other hand, for gases, they do not really have a fixed volume because their particles are far away. Or I could say far apart. All right, so now let's do some checkpoint questions to wrap up this topic. So question 1A, when there are two identical closed containers, one filled up with liquid and the other with gas, the liquid and the gas have the same shape and volume. Is that true? Yes, of course, this is true. Now question B, of the three states of matter, so solid, liquid, and gas, only the particles in the liquid are not arranged regularly. Is that true? No, of course not. This is false. Also, in gas, the particles are not arranged regularly. Now, question C. The spaces between particles in steam are larger than those in ice and water. So steam is basically talking about the gas state, ice is solid, and of course, water is liquid. So the question is asking, the spaces between particles in the gas are larger than those in solids and liquids. Is that true? Yes, of course, that is definitely true. Let's see question D. The particles in a solid can only vibrate about a fixed position. Is that true? Yes, that is true. You can go back and have a look. Let's see question two. Which of the following can be best described by the model that you see on the right? So over here, this model, does it look like that it's, it's whether it's for a solid, liquid, or gas? Actually, as you can see, this is a model for a liquid so using this as a hint which of the following options is a liquid and very easily we would know that it is a milk okay for question three a piece of solid which is this one as you can see it has a fixed shape and a fixed volume some liquid so it should be this one Okay, and finally, and some gas, which is this one over here, are transferred from a closed beaker to a closed conical flask. Draw the arrangements of the particles for each of them in the conical flask. Okay, so actually it's already drawn over here. Now because a solid has a fixed shape and a fixed volume, for example, just think that this is a Lego brick you have over here, and you're going to place it into a conical flask. It's just going to remain the same, right? Nothing's nothing different. There's going to be no difference. So just go ahead and write and add those particles. Just draw them out. For the second one, for a liquid, as mentioned earlier, liquids they only have a fixed volume, but not a fixed shape. So originally, for example, I would say this is around 20 ml in the beaker. And when you place it over here, it's still going to remain the same volume, right? However, the shape might be changed. So originally, the shape looked somewhat like this. Now it looks more like this. 
Okay. So remember to draw these by yourself. And finally, for a gas, as we know, because gas do not have gases do not have a fixed volume, nor do they have a fixed shape. So you can just randomly draw these particles in the conical flask. All right. So that sums up this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.